Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of these great stand-up fighters. Ooh, what a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. And he lands the knee to the body now. Man, I don't know how you guys see elbows like this. I know you try not to, but there is no pad, no glove, no nothing on those elbows. He is all beat up from these elbows. I know he's fighting valiantly, but he cannot take many of these shots. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just misses with that one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, dude's hurt. another leg kick for good measure so doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight and if you're trying to slow your opponent down mission accomplished so far. when you can land that many leg kicks you start to affect the movement you start to affect the hands everything changes when you're oh big knee he's in trouble he's hurt bad oh big left hook there oh wow those leg kicks are already taking effect they're going at it now. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Knee to the body. Can't take many of those. You better check. Jockey for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big punch lands over the top. Oh, big oh, knee. Fighters. Oh, 
All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Ooh, big knee. Knee to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and there is another knee. Man, those are doing a lot of damage to his opponent here in this fight. I'd be crying to my Cheerios in the corner by now. Ow. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, he's going back to the knees again. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> that knee might have landed there. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take the fact the longer this fight goes. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Right hand puts the clinch. Whoa! Oh, oh, five shit. minutes down. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Second round here. But man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. And they set. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. All right, so he's landed some good. Oh, hurt. oh he goes with the punch and he lands. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Back to the feet now. Uppercut is true. Oh, he got a good too. Gets up again here, but Hurton. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, a huge block there. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, man! there, DC. Great job, man. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Iron. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TKO. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.